We're entering the green pastures of Stanley Park today for an epic adventure. With me on camera as always is Rick Von Schmidt. Today I'm going to attempt a feat that's likely never been tried before. I'm going to walk the nearly 10 kilometers of seawall around Stanley Park, sit on every bench, and Rick's going to take a picture. And friends, how many benches do you think I'll sit on today? If you guess the exact number, you win a prize. I'll be walking in a clockwise direction today, starting at Park Lane in the green circle there and finishing at the Vancouver Rowing Club in the red square. There's a little bit of drizzle today. Hope we don't get a downpour. I forgot my umbrella. Ooh, here comes our first bench. And yeah, it looks like a good one. Before we take a seat, let's read the plaque. Every sunrise a new opportunity. Every sunset a day fully lived. Remembering Anne Levi Lloyd. Enjoy the bay. And dead. All right, let's have a seat and take sweet Anne's advice. And enjoy English Bay. And go ahead and take our first picture, Rick. Ooh, and good shot. Now, I'm curious how long this will take us. Looks like we're starting at 6.22 a.m. And I got my tally counter. Bench number one. I wonder how many there will be. Everyone got their guesses? And let's go. Okay, here comes bench number two. And Rick, how about some music as you take the pictures? Okay, while well, Rick's taking the shots, I can tell you that we're looking south across Burrard Inlet towards Kitsilano. We'll be passing by Second Beach here in Stanley Park and then Third Beach. The path is pretty quiet this morning. Not too many people venturing out in this wet weather. Sometime around 1914, the park board noticed that waves from passing ships were eroding Stanley Park shoreline. They figured building a stone seawall was the best way to protect the park. And a combined park and marine walk would be the first of its kind in North America. So work got underway, and for several decades it was a big job. Big job! In a ceremony in 1971, the last block was tapped in by a dude named H.H. H. Stevens. He was a former politician who initiated the project way back in 1914. Thousands of people worked on the project over the years. In a recent vlog, I learned that a great dude named Jimmy Cunningham spent most of his life dedicated to building this great seawall. There's quite a stretch under Prospect Point and the Lionsgate Bridge where there aren't any benches. Safety reasons, I guess. We're on the north side of the park now and maybe it's time for a check on that tally counter. Let's see here, the next bench is number 100. Incredible. Okay, let's read the plaque. In loving memory of Donald Gladstone, he made people happy. And you're making us happy, Donald, with this fine bench. The mountains are covered in some clouds today. Luckily, it hasn't rained too much. It sure is cool and peaceful here. Go ahead and take the picture, Rick. Ooh, another good shot. Okay, anyone want to change their guesses? This is bench 100 and we got a ways to go. We're headed east toward Brockton Point. And I'd like to take a moment for some shout-outs to some great people watching today. Sean Bond and family, Seuss the Caboose, Debbie Clark, Marlene Bevy B, Ms. Pretty Lady, Truth Teller, and Goes to Eleven. And a special hello to all the hospital patients, pensioners, shut-ins, people who are differently abled, and those of you who can't make it outside today, as well as all the kids watching around the world. If I'd done this on a sunny day, the pictures might have been brighter, but then again, when it's cool with a little rain, there's no better place than Stanley Park Siwa. I think we got an authentic Vancouver experience today. Some call it Junuary, 
Yeah, I love it. Okay, we're looking south once again across Cool Harbor toward downtown. On this stretch of the seawall, we're passing by the 9 o'clock gun, Hallelujah Point, the so-called Dead Man's Island, and the Vancouver Yacht Club. We should be hitting that last bench very soon. After sitting on all these wet benches, my tuchus is soaking wet. Ooh, as we approach the Vancouver Rowing Club, I see our last bench. Incredible. Yeah, let's read the blessing. Fern, Rose, Hollyhock toss their heads, crying too soon, too soon. But the trees continued to dance. Anne Elizabeth Mercer. Thank you, Anne, for that great poetry. I'm glad those trees are dancing, though, because I sure can't. I am tuckered out. Go ahead and take our last picture, Rick. Ooh, another winner. And it's 8.25, so that took us two hours and three minutes. And what is the final count? How many benches are on the Stanley Park seawall? Here it is. 193. Incredible. Whoever guessed 193, you're eligible for a big prize. Uh, please contact Rick Von Schmidt to collect. After a morning on the seawall, there's no better place to wrap things up than Joe's Grill on Denman Street. They recently changed their name to The Basic, but that's okay. They still serve the best veggie hash in the city. Hope you've enjoyed this Little taste of old Vancouver as she once was. My thanks to Bev Sugarman for makeup and Jewel Hailmere for wardrobe. On behalf of Rick and myself, thanks for watching and subscribing. And until next time, hey, that's a good bee.